and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Amina Mohammed, has maintained that the government is talking to both sides in the South Sudan conflict to secure the safe return of the Kenyan pilot held hostage by the rebels. This comes after the rebel spokesman spoke to KTN last night, saying there wasn't any immediate plan to release the Kenyan pilot. That revelation by the rebels triggered very angry reactions from a section of Kenyans. We don't need to give time frames like saying it is five days. Why, 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 uh, why are they not being released? We have to carry out some investigations. These sentiments from the South Sudan rebels' military spokesman puzzled many Kenyans, but many more people were downright angry at the very utterances of a group Kenya has graciously hosted since fighting broke out in South Sudan in mid-December 2013. It was even puzzling since it came two days after this statement from the Deputy President William Ruto. We also uh, managed to persuade the rebels to release a Kenyan plane and pilot who have been held for the last 10 days in rebel controlled territory. And now the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary says they are talking to both sides of the conflict in South Sudan to help get the Kenya pilot held by the rebels back to Kenya. And the problem has been for us the logistics of getting to where he is to take him out. So um, as soon as we can uh, work that out, uh, he, will be, he will be released. The rebels have maintained they are not about to release the Kenyans. We have judges. We are prosecutors. So the case is going to be brought against the pilot and, who are, and all those who are involved. We're also in talks with um, uh, Dr. Yak uh, to ensure that uh, the release happens. According to the cabinet secretary, the government indeed hosted a total of 11 rebels in the country and Kenyan taxpayers' money was used to fund their stay with the help of the eager community. So they came here. And yes, we hosted them. And then the other four were released later on to us as well. And yes, we hosted them as well. Uh, most of them are in, um, are in uh, Addis. And the Ethiopian government is also hosting them. Okay? And apart from that, IGAD Secretariat also pays for their expenses. The stay of the rebels in Kenya and their adamant refusal to let the Kenyan pilot and his charter plane come back home has drawn some impassioned reactions from Kenyans. Unless we look at that critical element, which side of the divide do we belong? We cannot have the pilot come back. <laughs> The Kenyan pilot and his passenger in the charter plane were taken by the rebels in South Sudan's Jonglei state. Joy Dorin Bira, KTN Weekend Prime.